Dean's a jerk. Yeah, why don't you like that? Break it up in front of everybody that... Guy's a total jerk. No, he's not. He was right. Everything he said, all those things about you and me, all those things about me lying to him and messing with his head, he was right. Oh, well, wasn't he? Fine, he was right about me then. Now go away. He was right about all of You know, it. I have actually thought about this moment a lot. What would Jess say to me if I ever saw him again? I mean, he just took off, no note, no call, nothing. How could he explain that? And then a year goes by, no word, nothing, so he couldn't possibly have a good excuse for that, right? I have imagined hundreds of different scenarios with a hundred different great last parting lines. And I have to tell you that I am actually very curious to see which way this is going to go. Could we sit down? No, you wanted to talk, so talk. What do you have to say to me? I love you. You just gotta find that thing that makes you feel so that your readers feel it. What makes you feel? Did I tell you I lost my wallet? You should write a book. Ugh, oh, thanks for the Naomi Shropshire flashbacks. Lovely. And I know what you should write. What? You should write about you and your mom. What? It's a cool story. It's got a point of view. And it's something only you can write. Think about it. I gotta go. Thanks for lunch. So, Courtney, what about you? <laughs> what about me? What are your big ambitions? Harvard. And after Harvard? I'm going to be a journalist. All is on? Christiane Amanpour. You're going to be an overseas correspondent? Yes, I am. You're going to crawl around in trenches and stand on top of buildings and have bombs going off in the background and civil wars raging all around you. What, you don't think I can do it? No, I do. It just sounds a little too... A little what? just sounds a little too rough for you. Well, it's not a little too rough for me. I hope it's not a little too rough for me. I've been talking about this forever. I mean, I don't even know what I would do. Hey, I didn't mean to freak you out. I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll do it. You will. I promise. I'll help you practice, OK? Tomorrow, you'll stand in the middle of the street, and I will drive straight at you, screaming in a foreign language. Well, you're going to have to learn a foreign language first. Well, it's lucky I've got me a tutor, isn't it? Ten. Ten? Yeah, but I didn't understand a word of it, so I had to reread it when I was 15. I've yet to make it through it. Really? Try. The Fountainhead is a classic. Yeah, but Ayn Rand is a political nut. Yeah, but nobody could write a 40-page monologue the way that she could. OK, tomorrow I will try again, and you will... Give the painful Ernest Hemingway another chance. Yes, I promise. You know, Ernest only has lovely things to say about you. Why are you only nice to me? Excuse me? An hour ago, you were totally screwing with Dean, and now you're totally nice to me. <laughs> you see, it's the screwing with Dean that's an important step to getting here so that I could be nice to you. So it was a plan. What? The whole bidding on my basket, it was a plan. OK, I'm officially starving. And officially evasive. Come on, I'll get you a pizza. Answer my question. Do you like pepperoni? Not going to, are you? We can just get it on half if you want. <sighs> OK. I give, let's go. So what you happened? Insist. I, I don't Come on, it wasn't Dean, you can say. Will that make you happy? Yes, very. OK, I'll tell you the truth. Since we're both so into the truth tonight, that's what good relationships are about, right? Right. But you've got to promise not to mock me, ever. And please don't tell anyone else. Promise? I was throwing a football with a buddy and got hit in the eye. You poor thing. Yeah. But that's not embarrassing. Yeah, now that you mention it, it's not.
I have to go. Don't go. I don't want to. Then don't. Let's go somewhere. I've got takeout. I'll reimburse you. My mom's waiting. Keep thinking what you're thinking. You don't have to do this. I didn't ask you to do this. I can just find someone else to do it. Well, you made it look so easy. Yeah, it was loose. You just had to press down and give it a good twist, that's all. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So things are good? Oh, yeah, really good. School? Good. Still gonna do the Harvard thing? Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. So, my pager. I figure. Who is it? It's, um, Dean. I paged him earlier to come over and help me, and he just got the message, so he's... Coming over to help? Yeah. Okay. Why did you come here? What? I said, why did you come here? Well... I mean, you did school and everything, it's so not you. Why'd you do it? Because you didn't say goodbye. Oh. Bye, Rory. Bye, Jess. Jess, my mother is a great person. She's also my best friend in the world, so if you care about me at all, you will take that into consideration and you will be mildly polite to her. What makes you think I care about you? I, I, I don't mean care, care, like a care. I, I, I mean, if you like me at all, not like-like. I just meant that if, if you think of me remotely as the sort of person that you could occasionally stand to talk to, then you'll try to get along with my mom, that's all. Okay. Okay? I can't guarantee that'll work, but I'll try. Thank you. You're welcome. I should probably get to work. Right. Sorry, go ahead. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 I have to get to school. Yeah, me too. Bye. 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 You bought a copy? I told you I'd lend you mine. It is yours. You stole my book. No, nope, borrowed it. Okay, that's not called a trick, that's called a felony. I just want to put some notes in the margins for you. What? You've read this before. About 40 times. I thought you said you didn't read much. Wow, what is much? Good night, Rory. Good night, Dodger. Dodger. Figure it out. Oliver Twist. I'm late, I should go. It is kind of late. So I just basically wanted to show you that. Uh, tell you, tell you that I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. I'm gonna be around for a couple days. Can we talk again? Preferably above a whisper. Yeah, I'd like that. How about tomorrow night? It okay? Yep. Good. I'll sneak out on my own. Cool. Oh, hey, your book. Oh, it's yours. So. It's been a couple days since you made the big decision. Are you still going to Yale? Yes, I am. It's got all the classes I want and some really great teachers. And plus, you know, as an added bonus, it's really close to here. 22.8 miles. How'd you know that? Do you Yahoo? You looked it up? Yeah. You looked it up. I just hit a couple buttons on a computer. You looked it up. I was bored. There was nothing on TV, and I was fooling around. It was something to do. That's it. You looked it up. What are you doing here? Hello to you, too. Is everything OK? You look nice. Thank you. What are you doing here? The move back. What? The move back. But what? Why? Just wanted to. Oh, my god. 
You going to smoke that or mind meld with it? Depends. So where's the part for your car? Huh, I don't know. Gypsy said she was going to leave it for me somewhere. I guess she forgot. She's bad that way. I'm just going to have to take my business elsewhere. Looks that way. So? So? Here we are. Yeah, here we are. So, tell me, what's your decision about smoking that depending on? What's going to happen? When? Now. I'm glad you didn't smoke it. Oh, yeah? yeah. Whatever else happens between us, at least we know that part works.